Hey everybody, welcome back to another WV Guns and Goats video. Tonight we're taking a look at the 5.7 Rock Pistol. Now before we do that, I'd like to ask you to please like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button to join the herd here at WV Guns and Goats. Now, recently there's been a lot of these reviews pop up on YouTube, and that reason is PSA cleared this gun out at $299. Now, I'm not one to pass up on a deal, so when I saw that, I decided to pick one up from PSA, However, if you'd like to check out anything they offer, check the link tree below. There's a link to their website, and anything you pick up is going to help us out to continue bringing you these videos. Now, the reason I'm doing this review tonight, and it's a little bit different than a standard review, is when I got this gun from the dealer, I noticed how easy it is to operate this gun. And I think that's really important for someone who's an older shooter, someone who may not have the hand strength they used to have, or maybe someone who's got a disability and needs a very easy to operate handgun. So that's how we're gonna take a look at this gun. I know there's a lot of full reviews out there on YouTube, so I won't go super in depth on this gun, but we're gonna look at it from a little bit of a different angle tonight. Now recently we've seen two handguns geared towards that shooter market, the Shield EZ-9 and the EZ-380. However, this gun I feel is up there with ease of operation of the slot. Recoil wise, this gun is a very light recoiling gun because the 5.7 is a very light bullet moving really fast, like a rifle round would be. Not a heavy bullet, so there's not a lot of recoil to it. Also, that cartridge is very small in diameter, which allows you to have a very thin grip width-wise, and some people have problems gripping even a 9mm double stack due to the size of their hands or maybe arthritis. Now, because it uses such a small cartridge, it has a 23-round capacity, so you definitely have a lot more rounds on tap there over some of the standard nine millimeter handguns and definitely over something like a snub nose revolver. Something people don't really think about is, you know, they are overconfident in the amount of rounds they'll need during a defensive situation. Some guys are like, oh, you know, I only need one or two rounds. You know, those guys never think I might miss with a couple rounds and maybe there's multiple assailants. So this definitely brings enough rounds to the party. I'll show you all just how easy it is to operate the slide, just two fingers, boom. Two fingers, boom. So it's a very light slide to rack. I'll show you another way that this gun is easy to operate, and that's the magazine. It's a very easy to load. Now this may look familiar to some of you because it's more like an AR-15 magazine than a traditional pistol magazine. So that means that the rounds just get pushed right into the magazine. Instead of having to push them down and slide them back, they load like a rifle magazine, which makes it very easy to load. Now, oftentimes you'll see something like this LCP suggested to a female or an elderly shooter because of its size and generally its price. These are pretty inexpensive guns. However, if you need something for concealability, yes, it has a point there, but we are talking about usability for home defense. Now, you're also limited by magazine size on this. When you're talking about home defense, you don't really have to worry about the size of the gun. Now, the smaller frame, some people think, well, someone with small hands needs a small gun, and that's just not true. These are actually really hard to shoot guns because of their size. The sights aren't really good at all. The springs have to be very heavy, so they're hard to rack, and the triggers are generally pretty heavy. Think about holding on to this versus holding on to this gun, how much easier it is to wrap your hands around this one versus a micro compact like this. Now, what about something like the dagger pistol here? Well, this is a good representation of a compact 9mm double stack handgun, well, you have a lot more to hold on to than you do with the LCP. However, you don't have as much to hold on to as you do with the Rock here. It has a very large, very slim grip for being a double stack. And check this out here. You can see how thin it really is compared to the double stack 9mm while being a double stack handgun itself. Another thing is that the slide springs are much lighter than the LCP. However, I've still seen people with reduced hand strength or elderly or female shooters still have problems racking this gun. It's nowhere near as easy to operate as the rock pistol is. Well, I brought my aunt out here, and how old are you? 67. And you have arthritis in your hands? Yes, severe. So that makes it hard to operate some guns out there. Yes, it does. Well, I've talked about three different pistols, and the first one is this LCP. Go ahead and grip that. We've already made sure it's unloaded. 
let me know point it down range and try it to the trigger what do you think about that trigger that's very hard to pull okay what about holding it and getting your hands around it can you get a good grip on the gun no it's it's too short of a bottom frame okay and it would probably be hard for you to rack this because it's even a little hard for I, a regular person to operate i that. don't want to even try it <laughs> okay so there's her opinion on the lcp this is a dagger pistol it's the same size as a very popular nine millimeter pistol size on the market which is a compact double stack nine millimeter and we've already checked to make sure that's unloaded right mm -hmm. okay I'm going to have you grip this pistol and see what you think about the grip. It's a little too big. Uh, which way? Width? In width. Okay, what about its length there? Is it easy to hold on the to? The length is easy to hold on, but the width is a little too big. Okay, so go ahead and point it down range and pull the trigger, and let me know what you think about that trigger. Trigger's easier to pull than the first one. Could you pull it multiple times? Yes. Okay. Now, next up, we're going to have you try to operate the slide there. Okay. As you see, she can't really grip the slide. She has to push against the optic there. If that optic wasn't on there, would you be able to operate the slide on that? No. No, too hard to operate. Yes. That. All right, so there's her opinion on the dagger pistol. This is the PSA Rockets in 5.7, which is a little tiny rifle round, basically. So it actually doesn't have a lot of recoil. It probably recoils less than the other two. But we've checked this to make sure it's empty okay. here. And I'm going to have you grip the gun. What do you think about the grip there? I like that. It's slimmer than the other one? Slimmer. It's better. I can hold on to that really nice. Okay. Point it down range and try the trigger. Trigger's easy. <laughs> okay. A lot lighter and easier to pull. Yes. All right. So next up, I want to see if you can operate the slide there. Go ahead and pull it back. So you got that pretty easy back. Yes, I did. Now, if that had an optic on it, it'd probably be even easier because you could brace against that. It would and be it. smooth. Okay. So there's her opinion on the rock pistol. We're going to do some shooting with it and see what she thinks about the recoil. 9mm versus 5.7. And based on the look of these cartridges, which one do you think is going to have more recoil? This one. The 5.7? Yeah. I think you'll be surprised. Let's try them out. Okay. All right. So you have the dagger with a couple of rounds of 9mm in there. And this is the one you thought was going to recoil less. So we'll go ahead, have you shoot at the target downrange. What did you think about the recoil on that gun? A little hard. Okay. We'll give you the 5.7 next. Okay. We're going to have you shoot a couple rounds down range and see what you think about it. Okay. What do you think about it? Did it recoil as much as you think? Easier than the first one. So it recoiled less than the 9mm. Yes. All right. Now, you may or may not have seen the amount of muzzle flash that the 5.7 gives off, and that is one of the downsides to the cartridge. But I don't think you would notice that in a self-defense situation when you're no. pulling the trigger at somebody coming at you. No. After shooting both of these pistols, which one do you like more? This one. Do you think that would be something that would be useful for an older shooter or a female or somebody with yes. low hand strength? Yes, very much so. So easier to grip? Easier to grip, a better hold on the gun itself. Okay. And even act actually easier to rack it. It's then something then that, like this. Yes. But if you feel that this one had an optic like this one does. This would even be easier. Okay. Well, thank you for coming out to do some shooting and give your opinion on these pistols. Thank you. Well, there you have it. A little bit different video on the PSA Rock 5.7 than the majority of reviews that you see out here on YouTube. As I said, I thought this gun would be good for an older person with low hand strength or arthritis or maybe somebody with a disability. And I brought my aunt out so I could ask her her opinion as someone who is older with arthritis. And she really liked this gun. As you could see, she kind of struggled with the dagger and didn't even want to try the slide on the LCP. And I've seen those LCPs pushed on older people before, but they're a pretty hard gun to operate. She didn't have any problems operating the slide on this gun or pulling the trigger multiple times. I would say she could have still operated the dagger, but only with the optic on it where she kind of used it as a charging handle. And then you heard her say that if this had an optic on it, it'd be a lot, a lot easier to operate. 
So I hope her opinion can help you out. And if you're out there at the local gun shop looking for something for home defense or general use, make sure that it fits your hand and that you can pull it back easy, especially if you're someone who fits into one of those categories we talked about earlier. Now, if you want to check these out, they're kind of hard to find at a gun shop because Palmetto State Armory, they sell direct on their website, which is www.palmettostatearmory.com. There's a link down in the description to them. So guys, thanks for watching. Remember, if you're not out there having fun shooting, what are you doing? And this has been another WV Guns and Goats video.